Hello everybody, good afternoon. It's Friday, it has been two weeks since we had a Facebook Friday. It feels like a really long time. I have been all over the place since then. And let's see, I forgot to pull up my Facebook. I just wanna make sure I can see you guys. We had an amazing spring break. I'm not gonna lie, it was awesome. We ended up hiking about 27 miles in about five days. It was awesome. The weather was wonderful. It got real windy, which did not help things. I have a fear of heights. <laughs> and um, there were several spots on our trip that made me very uncomfortable. But I pushed through. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I pushed through and I... There was one that luckily my daughter got too scared. And so I was like, oh, I'll go back with her. <laughs> we'll meet you guys at the end. Um, and she saved me from having to wimp out. Hello, mom. Hope my dog is behaving at your house. Our puppies are having a play date today. Good. It's so good to see you guys. It is a gorgeous day here. I hope you guys are experiencing some spring weather where you are. I know some of you had some spring storms yesterday. Um, hopefully everybody is good and okay. Hey, hey, Carla. Good to see you. Okay. Let me pull this up and make sure I'm in the right place. I lost track of time. <laughs> I've done like a million things today and I started working on a class that you can see partially over here. Um, and I lost track of time. I had, um, was watching something that was pre-recorded, so I, I didn't even, wasn't even aware of what time it was. And I looked down and it was, um, 1.30 and I hadn't finished typing my blog post. I hadn't finished my videos. I was panicking, but look, I made it. I made it on time. Okay, let's see, I gotta, where am I, where am I sharing this? Yes, over here, okay, but I'm here. <sighs> mom, my mom says her lips are sealed. She's not gonna rat out her grand dog, yeah. Our little Pepper, the breeder called her Tigress when we got her. She was a Tigress, and she is. <laughs> She's crazy. All right, so today, let's talk about what we're going to do today. Kangaroo and Company. This is one of my most favorite bundles, probably top three in the spring catalog. It is gorgeous. I love it. It's fun. Um, I like the way it's drawn. You know, I like simple, clean black line images with not a lot of like scribble, you know, sometimes they do a little scribble marks. It's fine, but when it's like this, it's my favorite because I can use Stampin' Blends, I can stamp it on colored cardstock, um, watercolor, whatever. I just love it. And this one is really cute because the Kangaroo Mama, her dye has a little line right here that cuts a line in her pouch so that you can slide all of those things in her pouch. And we'll, we're gonna do one of the, do that on one of our cards. So it's really cute. I hope it carries over, I don't know. You know guys, demonstrators get to see the retired list next Wednesday, I believe. The retired list and the new catalog. Ooh, crazy. It won't be the spring catalog retired list though. It'll be the annual catalog retired list. Things are different this year, so I'm having a hard time remembering the schedule and how things are working. But anyways, that's what we're going to do today. And well, I, I guess I won't know if this retires for a while. I guess May, we'll find out. Anyhow, we're going to make two cards and a treat. And before we get started doing that, I've got some things to tell you. Oh, first, let me show you. I got several cards while I was gone. Super duper cute. You guys know me so well. This is from Katherine Anderson and uh, lots of different things here. She kind of did this. Um, she used the dies and used the negative on the, the letters um, and then put that rainbow paper behind it. Really, really cute. Uh, you know, I'm impressed, Katherine, that you were able to get everything super straight because I I, I don't know if I could do that when you because you know you it's not like she was gluing the letters on anyway really cute thank you let's see this one is from oh my downline Wendy she, Wendy sent me a box of all this cute stuff including a buffalo check planner and it was really cute um so and look at the gorgeous card that she sent this is our new butterfly stuff that we did two weeks ago and 
not surprisingly, the paper is gone, sold out. They told us it was while supplies last and it sold out in, was it two and a half weeks? But the stamps and die, dies are still available. All right, but anyway, um, gorgeous card. Wendy, really, really pretty. All right, let's see, this is from Sue. Sue is so funny. She sent me a cute little, um, a little gift, I guess. It's just, she just sent me these cute little gnome flags. Sue sends me gifts from time to time. Um, it's just super thoughtful. And uh, she made this little card to go with it. I love it. I remember this paper and this stamp set. Um, I love those. So, I, you know, it's funny because I can look at stamps and paper and it reminds me like of the time of my life, you know, what was going on <laughs> and where I was in my stamping up business. Um, I remember using this paper for an onstage treat. I don't know. It's just funny how those things pop in your mind. But anyway, so, so cute. Thank you, Sue. Again, you're so thoughtful. This one was really neat. This is from Jane. And um, Jane won a door prize a few weeks ago. And she sent me this card and said that um, she's a 78-year-old grandmother. It was the special moment. Is that what it was called? Stamp set. And she said it was going to be perfect for her. And she said she pulled out a very old stamp set and used it with new paper here. And it's beautiful. Watercolored, it looks like. Um, gorgeous. Jane, thank you for taking the time to send me a thank you note. That was very sweet. And then this one is so cute. This is from Cindy. She got my... Um, springtime joy class and she was thanking me for it which is super sweet um and she made me this card using that stamp set so cindy thank you so much i love that that's really interesting what you did there just lots of different little techniques on that but gorgeous thank you you guys are very sweet i love getting mail any kind of mail as long as it's not bills <laughs> or junk there's a lot of junk mail but i i check my mail every day you know there's people out there and maybe some of you are those people who don't check their mail for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, the reason I know this, well, I know this for several reasons, but when I learned this was years ago when my daughter was having a birthday party, I had sent out birthday invitations through the mail. And this is my oldest daughter, she was little. And uh, the birthday came and went. And then like two weeks later, I got a phone call or something from somebody who said that they just got the invitation and they wanted RSVP. And I was like, <laughs> hello, it was two weeks ago. And she said, oh, I just never checked my mail. So I just thought it was funny because I love checking my mail. I don't know, I just do. Okay, so a few things. If you were checking my blog yesterday, you saw that I have a very limited number of class kits that go with this stamp set. This is the Punch Party host stamp set. I guess they're calling it the host stamp set during celebration. Um, you could only get it if you had a workshop or an order over $350. Um, and because of the way my business is, I had a some. I had a few. <laughs> Not a ton, but I did have, um, a, you know, more than I needed. So I designed six cards and the cards all feature that's that cute little punch party stamp set and the playing with patterns designer series paper um so i listed this on my blog yesterday i literally have 24 kits total some of most of them have the stamp set and then i just made some extras without the stamp set i think there's like four i don't know so and and again limited because i don't have that many of these stamp sets so the kit includes six cards, two of each. So you'll actually have 12 cards. I have already cut all the cards and all I have to do is order your paper and your embellishment. See, they're ready to go. And I will put your stamp set in there or not if you order the one without it. And you will also get a pack of these, three bolts of ribbon, and this really fun playing with patterns designer series paper. So these will probably sell out by the weekend. I, I don't, I didn't, haven't checked it this afternoon, but I know I had sold about 30% of them this morning. So if you want one, you have to email me for that link, okay? I don't remember the prices off the top of my head. I don't know, I can't remember. But if you go to my blog, pinkbuggeroo.com, yesterday's post, you'll see the details on that, okay? All right, let me set that over here. Um, the other class that I wanna tell you about is the Handsomely Suited or handsomely, that's not what I called it, is it? Handsomely suited, I guess it is. Handsomely suited, class to go. It is, the deadline is 
March 23rd. So what is that, Tuesday? All right, look how cute. You're gonna get, I think, I don't even remember, five cards or six cards? Six cards. This is a big class. Yeah, six cards. Look, here's the Pee Wee Herman card. <laughs> and two 3D pro projects. Um, and the twine. You can get it with or without the bundle. By the way, the bundles are on back order, so there's going to be a delay in this class. Not by that much. They're due back in at the very end of the, the month, which is when this class is going to ship. So don't panic. If you order it with a bundle, you may have to wait a few extra days, but that's it. Um, but anyway, this well suited. Thank you. I, I could not remember what that was called. Hello. Um, well suited. Carla, thank you. Um, anyhow, the deadline for this is Tuesday. So this will be the last time that I talk to you about it. Hopefully next week I have my April class to go ready to show you. But anyhow, if you want this class to go, please email me for the registration link. You have to email me. I can't list that uh, link on Facebook or on my blog per Sampinet policy. Anyhow, but I can send it in an email. Every email I send out has it in the email. Every, uh, you know, like uh, newsletter email. Not, I don't really do newsletters. I just send emails when they need to be sent. So if you haven't joined my email list, make sure you do that. Um, I'll add it here on Facebook so that you can do that so you don't miss anything. Alrighty, what else do I want to tell you? All-Star Tutorial Bundle this month. Gosh, it's really thick. Um, 12 tutorials um, by 12 different designers. They each have a video link as well as typed measurements, supply list, and they all feature the Hydrangea Hill bundle. Here's mine this month. Here's my project. Um, you get this free if you spend $50 with me. And by the way, you guys... How many of you took advantage of the free shipping the other day? That was a huge surprise. We did not know it was coming. We found out like two days before. Um, I hope you guys were able to take advantage of it. Those of you that did and you used the host code, you'll get today's projects. Uh, thank you so much for those orders. I am always grateful for your orders. Uh, let's see what I was going to say. Oh, I already emailed out everybody who had ordered up through yesterday morning your free PDF, your free tutorial PDF. If you didn't get it, please email me because I'm telling you guys, about 10% of my emails never arrive. And I, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, when I send out mass emails, like over 10 people or something, it thinks I'm spamming. So sometimes I mail them out and you guys don't get them. So anyway, if you spent $50 with me online anytime this month, this is yours. I will send it to you email for free. Um, it's also available in my PDF store. $15 you can get that if you're looking for. I actually have another Hydrangea Hill PDF in there too. That was my class. But this one is from 12 different designers. One for me and then 11 others. All right, let me throw this up here. Um, Club Create, if you are in Club Create, your packages went out this morning. Um, <laughs> I haven't sent you your emails yet. Uh, I just, I feel like I've been running around with a, like a chicken with my head cut off this morning. Today, all day, I just, you know, do you ever have those days where you start something and then you start something else and you start something else and you kind of, because you have so much to do? That's been today. Um, but I have a note on my desk to send you guys your email. Your Club Create kits have shipped. Um, so that means, what's next? What's for April? Well, it's gonna be this. Now, <laughs> of course, these are on low inventory, so fingers crossed that everything that we use for Club Create next month is not going to be on back order or unorderable by the time I put in Club Create orders. Or I'll have to, real quick, figure something out. But anyway, this is gonna be next month. Um, I feel certain that we'll be fine with our Club Create um, projects. I always get it to work out. Well, I shouldn't have said that, should I? Knock on wood. Anyhow, uh, Club Create is five projects. Whoa, five projects. This one is stuck. Uh-oh, hold on, hold please. Oh, that was so cute too, and I just ripped it off. Okay, let's try that again. Club Create is, well, I have different ones in my hand. Hold on, hold on, which one am I missing? This one, Club Create is four cards and a 3D project every month. 
Um, it's $39 and it always includes about $20 in product um, plus the five projects. You get a PDF and a video for all five projects. It is a subscription. You have to subscribe by the 7th of April in order to get this kit. Um, you can add on the bundles if you want. I always have add-on options. Um, anything that can fit in that envelope, we can add on for no additional shipping. Um, and I pay the tax on that, so you get a little bit of a discount. Um, let's see, what else was I going to say about that? I don't know. That's it. Club Create. And, oh, you can cancel anytime. If you subscribe for one month and you're like, that's all I needed, that's all I wanted, you can unsubscribe. Um, but if you stay for six months, you get $25 in product of your choice. Like a, like a stamp club. If you've ever been in a stamp club or a host club, that's what it's like. All right, so that link will be in today's video. I'm so distracted. Facebook is still doing that weird thing where it shows you so-and-so is watching, and it's the same person as last time. <laughs> That's, I thought it was random, but it's not. They're watching, watching. That's all I see instead of comments is so-and-so is watching, so-and-so is watching, and I know it's happening across Facebook, and it's weird. I can't see your comments at all. Down here, I can see a few comments, um, sprinkled in weird anyway okay i was gonna tell you something else i am a scatterbrain today let's do door prizes how about we do door prizes last two weeks ago i had three bundles to give away and you guys there was a ton of shares so thank you for sharing my facebook live i really do appreciate it um it helps me find new customers, which, you know, um, as a salesperson, you're always looking for new customers. So I do greatly appreciate that. Um, these three bundles, the winners are Joyce Letterby. You're getting the wrapped bouquet. Sandy Cordial. Cordial? Cordial? Fan Sandy, ride the range. And this is either unorderable or on back order. I love this set. Oh, I've hardly played with it. And Lori Stansberry, she's one of my downline. Lori, you won the mini messages. I believe I have, uh, Lori, I know I have yours. I believe I have Sandy's and Joyce's, but ladies, if you see this, just send me, shoot me a message um, with your mailing address. Did I say email? With your mailing address so that I don't send it because sometimes people's addresses change and then I send it to the wrong place. <laughs> okay. This week, I've got the Hey Chick bundle and the Hey Birthday Chick bundle right there. So if you'd like to win one of these, please share the video on Facebook. And you can write in the comments uh, which one you want. Hey Chick or Hey Birthday Chick. Since there's two different ones, I'll give you a choice. And then I'll pick one, per one person from each one. All right, my desk is clear. We are ready to go. Like I said, we are gonna do three projects with the kangaroo and company bundle it's so adorable if you've not joined me for facebook live before hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com and there's a pdf on the post today's post and on the second page of that pdf there is oh no this down at the bottom there's a button on the second page of the pdf are all the things that i just told you about there's some links there if you need them the by the way the club create link if you're looking for that too, if there's a tab at the top of my blog, y'all need to check out the tabs. All right, there's um, Club Create, there's all kinds of things to help you find things. Sometimes I think people forget to look at those tabs. But anyway, today, under the third photo is the link for this PDF, all right? And it ha it's free, by the way, you don't pay for it, it's free. And it has all the measurements, supply list, everything that you're gonna need, all right? Okay, and if you put in an order between now and Monday and night that is over $35, I will send you today's make and takes, and they look like this, all right? They come to you, they are free. You will need the stamps. What are we using today? You'll need the stamps and dies. I couldn't remember it was a punch. Stamps and dies, but I will do everything else for you, okay? You'll need stamps, ink, adhesive, and dies. I don't do any stamping. We can't send any stamped images you have to have the stamps yourself um let's see it, and also any orders from this last tuesday all the way up i know you lots of you already did your shopping you'll get these two for free okay oh by the way speaking of facebook friday make and takes 
Um, my assistant Denise took my two giant boxes of extra Facebook Friday kits and she's bundling them up and we're going to have a Facebook Friday project flash sale. I will send it out in my email. I don't know when it'll be in the next couple of weeks. Um, I have a lot more than I did last time because um, I've made a few extra each time just for this because you guys seem to really like that. So watch your email. I will, you know what, I'll give you um, a heads up on Facebook, but you know, a day or two before the email comes out. And uh, if you're interested in getting any extra um, leftover Facebook Friday make and takes. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Close your eyes. The first card that we're going to make today is actually a birthday card that I made for my team, for my downline. Every month I make um, birthday cards for my team. And uh, this was March's. Hopefully they've all gotten theirs. I've already sent them all out, so hopefully they've all gotten theirs. All right, let's see. Am I straight? I got I to gotta catch up. Hold on. Let's see where the camera goes while I'm cleaning all this up. Yeah, looks like we're straight. I think I'm gonna move that back just a little bit. Okay, so, and look, I'm using some paper that you probably would not think of to use for this. This is the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper, which I have right over here. Let's look at it. This paper, the Dandy Garden, is really busy on one side. And then on the other side, it's just patterns. So you can see, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of this. I'm just not, we've had this discussion. You guys know how I feel about dandelions. Um, but I love the other side. They're monochromatic patterns. That's cute. That one's cute. Um, they are monochromatic patterns, which you can use for anything. So that's what I've done here. Look, a stripe, I love a good stripe. Um, Let's see, there is the blue. So any of these blues in here will work for what we're gonna do. There's also Calypso Coral, right? Is that Calypso Coral? Look at those dandelions. This is what everybody's yard in San Antonio looks like right now. <laughs> here in San Antonio, we, spring arrives like late February and then everybody has these in their yard. So <laughs> they're weeds, but it's okay. It's all right if you like them. I'm not judging, whatever. They're just not my thing. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get hate mail. You don't like um, dandelions, you don't like dandelions. Let's get started, you guys. So I brought in another stamp set to use with this card. I needed something kind of big to go across. This stamp set has great sentiments, but I just needed something bigger for this. So I pulled in Itty Bitty Birthdays, and Itty Bitty Birthdays, is like the perfect stamp set. If you make birthday cards, this will be your your stamp. I mean, you can use any images like I'm using here and then add a happy birthday to it and it's a birthday card. So this is a really good stamp set if you haven't gotten it yet. All right, let's see what we're gonna use. I'm kind of mixed up. I did do clean recordings of these this morning. They should all be live right now, hopefully. Like I said, I lost track of time and I was frantically trying to get those up before I went on. And I can see that I am missing. Oh no, I don't need this for this. Okay, so we'll see. Has anybody checked over there? Is the blog post up? Um, Judy, the snow did not kill the dandelion, surprisingly. It killed a lot of other things, a lot. All of our, um, all, well, not all of the cactus. I've told you guys about this cactus. I should share a picture with you guys. Um, also, we have um, sago palms, and all the sago palms died. Now, I don't think the actual plant is dead, but all that growth that takes a long time, you know, is dead. So everybody's cut them all off. Um, there's been a lot, but no, it did not kill <laughs> the dandelions. I don't think the dandelions would die in a nuclear, you know, <laughs> explosion. I think they'd, they'd be the only thing left. All right, let's stamp our cute little mama kangaroo on cinnamon cider. I feel like cinnamon cider is the perfect color for a kangaroo. Um, Nina, we don't have our bunnies anymore. You know, it's funny that you asked that because I thought how much they would love, they would love, love, love the snow. 
Yeah. No, we lost one last April and we lost the other in October. Um, and by loss, I mean they died. <laughs> and I can tell you that, you know, like, okay, it's sad, but guess what? I can grow plants in my backyard again. <laughs> for that so yes it was traumatic because the last one ted and i were out of town when we went to uh colorado and uh yeah it was quite traumatic because my daughter found the rabbit and yeah fun times okay you know what i do need those cinnamon cider stampin blends they are over here on the other tray but they would have loved the snow they get they would get all frisky and frolicky when when it was cold here all right so i stamped um, Mama Kangaroo in Memento Black on Cinnamon Cider cardstock. Um, this is a great way to use this stamp set if you're gonna, you know, make a bunch. Like I did, I think I made 25 birthday cards. I didn't want to color, because you'll see on the next card, it's a lot of coloring. She's big. Um, so that takes a long time. So if you just stamp it on, um, is this light? Suddenly that looks really dark. If you stamp it on colored cardstock, and then you can just add a, a few little shadows with your light cinnamon cider um, stamp and blend, and you'll see it'll fade here in a minute. It'll add some, some, some. What am I trying to say? Dimension, some shadow, and then it didn't take you five hours to color twenty-five giant mama um, <laughs> kangaroos. I'm gonna take light flirty flamingo and color her cheeks see that looks obnoxious right now but look it's gonna dry and it's gonna be adorable it, it always starts out much darker than it should be and then i'm gonna get the dark these two look so much alike i cannot tell a difference in these two colors it's weird maybe this one looks maybe a little bit lighter but this is my dark i mean of course that could be because i mixed them up all right we're gonna color in her nose all right, now we're gonna get the white and we're gonna stamp the envelope in Memento Black. Oh, wait, three butterflies too. So Cinnamon Cider, I think is a great color for a kangaroo. And I was saying this morning on my, when I recorded this for the YouTube channel, whatever, the clean recording, that maybe my friends from Australia would, would, um, say no it's not but I don't know I mean I, you know we have kangaroos at our zoo so I've seen them up close and personal I mean they probably come in all different shades right I mean not different colors but different shades I would think once again I should have done my research before Facebook Friday I need to do my research on whatever animal or plant we're doing I can give you guys fun facts. Anyway, I think it's a great color. Um, you could also use soft suede. Yes, who who is asking? Um, Debbie, Nancy. Uh, yes, Club Create next month is going to be. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't color those. Next month is going to be the sand and sea bundle. You know the seashells. Yeah, that's going to be next month. I haven't posted it yet. I plan on posting it on Monday. You can go ahead and subscribe. I haven't updated the page. If, you, if you're if you not a subscriber yet and you want to subscribe, I have not updated the page. I will do that on Monday as well. But if you subscribed right now, you know, the March Club Create Kit's already gone. So you're, you are subscribing from the 8th on each month. You're subscribing for the next month. All right, so Flirty Flamingo, light and dark. We'll bring the little guy back over. I had been neglecting my little mini cut and emboss. I realized I hadn't been using it, so I thought these are perfect for this. Now, these are really little, and if you find that they're moving around, get your post-it tape and use your post-it tape. They'll hold them on. I'm gonna wing it, let's see. Everybody hold your breath. There we go. I think we did good. They're so tiny. All right, so we've got the little envelope and we've got the one butterfly. Now let's do the other butterflies. Let's see. Well, 
Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, hold your breath. See if we can get it. Oh, Debbie, you ordered the many on free shipping day. Great idea. You know, <laughs> I couldn't think of what I should order. I had put it in order a couple of days before, and then I was like, what is there, you know, what should I, what should I get? What should I get? I did put an order in, and I can't remember what it was. Probably just basics. Nothing fun. All right. One more, one more. There we go. We're doing a college visit this weekend, you guys. Ellie already knows where she's going, but we're doing the official college visit. She's going to go to Baylor University in Waco, Texas. That's where I went. And because of COVID, things are weird, and they don't have the official, like stuff they normally would have for incoming freshmen, you can schedule a private tour and that's it. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. But you know, since I went there, I can show her things and she's been up there a thousand times before. So, um, but you know, we had to make it official. Okay. Where did that stamp set go? Here it is right here. So that's what we're going to do this weekend. I can't believe I have a child going to college. It's very strange. I'm stamping the happy birthday in craft white on just a skinny strip of flirty flamingo. Um, Teresa says, I ordered the basics and used my rewards to get the ice cream bundle. That's fun. Yeah, spend your money on the basics and then use your rewards to treat yourself, right? Smart. All right, now the heat tool. For some reason this morning, this was taking forever to dry so let's see we're also going to go to a, ba a Baylor baseball game which I don't know if I've ever been to a Baylor baseball game my husband loves baseball that's his sport and we have a friend who's actually um the well he's a freshman but he was recruited to go to Baylor um to be a pitcher so hopefully we'll get to see him play a little bit although he's a freshman that probably means he won't play <laughs> He actually, poor kid, he got exposed to COVID like just a couple of days before their first game. And he had to quarantine for two weeks and he missed the first two weeks of game. And he, of course he didn't get sick, you know. Ugh. It's very frustrating. All right, so now we've got this piece and the measurements are over on the PDF, you guys. All right. Um, <laughs> Nancy, you know, it's funny. She says, gonna have to sell a lot of Stampin' Up! to pay those college bills. I have been saving for years. That's part of my job with this job. Saving, saving, saving to help pay for her college. Um, my husband was adamant that they would go to a state school because he has the GI Bill that he didn't use and he can pass it on to them. And of course, Baylor is not at state school. So for a long time, he said she couldn't go to Baylor. And then I reminded him that we have two more. And those two will actually be in college at the same time. So it's probably smarter to use that GI Bill when those two are in college. Because then it'll be really hard. Um, and then he, of course, he saw the light because I, you know, told him. <laughs> you just have to convince them. You have to just, you know. I won't say wear them down, but sometimes. All right, so here's a stitched heart from um, Dandy Garden, same paper, and I'm just gonna put it on with some dimensionals. Um, it, you know, <laughs> poor guy, I don't know. He, he's got, he's outnumbered here at the house. Me and three girls, he is definitely outnumbered. All right, I'm gonna slide this, see that pouch? You can just slide that in there. And I'm gonna put a little tiny dot, this is a brand new glue and I'm having trouble with it. There we go. I have to squeeze it really hard and then I get too much glue. All right, so I'm gonna just put that in there like that so you can see it. And then we will put some dimensionals on the back. Yes, Lisa, right, that GI Bill. He, um, he was in the army before he finished college, but he didn't use, or maybe one or the other, the Hazelwood Act is for National Guard, because then he did National Guard too. So he has GI, either GI Bill money or National Guard, I can't remember, um, or GI Bill or Hazelwood Act. So 
one or the other, he's got 120 hours worth. So he can't wait to put it to use. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut this just we're gonna do this like an angle like that. And I think we'll put this on first so we know exactly where to put. Um, yeah, Kayleen, that slit on the um, kangaroo is made with the dye. Isn't that cool? I would have thought that we were gonna have to, you know, get our X-Acto knives out, but nope, it totally cuts it. Okay, it went too high. Let's go a little bit lower because she's tall. We'll put her right there. And then we're gonna get these little butterflies. It's cute. I need butterflies. And we're gonna get some many dimensionals. Like that. You guys are getting an echo. All right, did you try um, closing and coming back in maybe? I don't know what to do about that. I don't think we've ever had that problem before. All right, I'm gonna put two of them over here on the heart and one right here. Now you could leave it like that, but let's do something on the inside. I really like those little butterflies. No echo, Bonnie? Maybe, you know, leave and come back. Who knows? You know, that's the thing about this and I don't wanna say it because sometimes they'll just delete your videos, but you're at their mercy. Oh no, but flying butterflies. You're at their mercy. You just have to pray for the best. I seriously say a little tiny prayer every time before I go live. <laughs> I do because I just, you know, you just are at the mercy of technology and you never know what's going to happen. All right, we're gonna color these exactly the same as we did on the outside just to kind of carry over the design and then we'll put this piece uh oh what did i do with my adhesive did i use it already i did it's right here oh my gosh if it was a snake it would have bit me Alrighty, there we go and ta-da aren't they cute i just love them i love that color scheme too cinnamon cider misty moonlight and flirty flamingo all right, there you have it. Project number one is done. Let me pack all this up. And we will do project number two. Project number two is a little more involved. I, I feel like that's an easy card, but maybe it's not. Would you guys consider that an easy card? It's probably not easy. When I make, when I mass produce, when I make more than one of something, I try to keep it as simple as possible. I remember in the beginning, you know, the beginning days, we would make swap cards and I would make them super complicated, tons of layers, and then, it, <laughs> and then I would learn my lesson. Yeah, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to come up with something simple and cute. All right, so let's do this. Let's move these over here and let's do this guy. This guy is so cute. And I, I had to make a baby card because that little slit, look, you can just slide anything you want in and out. And this, that's this shape right here. You just cut that out and then you can attach the baby. You can attach the gifts, the hearts, the flowers, anything really. Um, I guess you could have attached that too and then it just slides in and out. I just think that's so clever. All right, so you can see we're gonna use lots of things here, including my favorite Buffalo background check. So let me get that tray and we will get started. We're using several punches here too. All right, I'm already running out of room. Let me move this guy down here. All right. <laughs> exactly. Who said that, Elaine? No, Donna. Donna says, somewhere there's a man saying, let's see how these crafty, crafty broads like this, right? Before he punches some buttons. Uh-huh. You got it. That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, yep. And I think his initials are M-Z. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 
what's gonna happen. All right, so let me get all of our pieces. What should we do first? I think we'll stamp first because we are gonna color her and her baby this time, and that's gonna take a little bit longer. Um, so memento, basic black, nope, basic white. Memento ink, basic white. Ooh, look, I got that really close. Let's do that again. I didn't like that. And her baby, you know what's weird? I went to get the little baby stamp and it was torn. It's torn in half. I have no idea when and how I did that, but you can't really tell. I pieced it back together. That's upsetting. All right, we're gonna put her like that. Is it a her or him? I don't know, him, I think it's a him. We're gonna go with him. Let's see, was there anything else I needed to, I was thinking there was, no. All right, now let's find the light, cinnamon cider. And I am just gonna color her solid cinnamon cider light. Uh, we'll go back with the dark and add some shadows. Now I'm using the bullet tip here on my uh, stamp and blend. Normally with a big piece like this, I would use the brush. I do prefer that bullet tip. I feel like I'm in better control, but when it's a large image like this, I like to use that brush to, you know, fill it in faster. But something happened. <laughs> well, I could tell you what happened, but it's because I use it all the time. Um, the other end is almost dry. So fingers crossed right here that we don't run out of ink. Fingers crossed. I need to order a new set because I have been using cinnamon cider quite a bit. I really like this in color. It's a good, it's very different from the other browns that we have and I like it. All right, so I'm just gonna color her all in. I'm gonna leave her tummy white. I have no idea. Are their tummies white? I don't know. I didn't even look up a picture. I just went with it. It doesn't matter anyway, because her little baby is gonna be in there. All right, now I'm gonna grab that dark. I'm gonna add a little bit of dark here, color in her nose, a little bit here, a little bit here, some under her chin, coming down. And then let's see, we'll do right here and right here. I'm just adding a shadow really is what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna take the light and just blend it up into that other color. Okay. All right, mm, I don't know if I like that. I probably did too much there, but that's okay. It's gonna dry lighter. Oh, well now I have to do the whole thing. <laughs> okay, stop, Erica, no more. That's what happens, I just keep going and going. All right, we'll do the baby in the same way. He's really cute. Um, you know, that's funny, this nail right here. Yeah, so it's really sparkly. Can you see it's real cute? But I thought the same thing when she did it. I was like, oh God, you can't hardly see it. Yeah, it's like a real pale glittery pink. They were next to each other, you know, when you have to go pick out your colors. They were next to each other on the little thing and I was like, that's cute, together. Every time I do something like abnormal to my nails, oops. Well, now he's got a big nose. Every time I do something abnormal to my nails, I think I'm gonna like it and then it just drives me crazy. One time in the fall, I had like this and that one was a gray color and it, lo <laughs> it looked like I had slammed my finger in the car door and <laughs> my nail was falling off. <sighs> so, I will never do that again. I mean, maybe if you had all of them, that color would be fine, but one, you know, looks like, oh my gosh, what happened to your nail? That gray color is pretty, I like it, but I just didn't, I don't know, it was weird. All right, we're gonna cut her out with her matching dye. Line up, make sure you line up that tail and those ears. Um, and then the baby, nope, nope, this one is the wrong one. No way, where is it? You guys, why does this always, happen. I haven't used that dye since this morning. Okay, hold on. We're going to retrace our steps. 
How many times do you think I've lost a die on Facebook Live? Like 20? Maybe 20 times? Let me look at my, my recycle bin. I just emptied it. Let's see. Hmm. I don't even see the paper. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Look. It's not there. And it's not on the card. Right? Am I not looking at it? It's missing. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. All right, well, we'll be fussy cutting that. Darn it. Hmm. Am I looking at it? What in the heck? All right, move on, Erica. All right. Yes, I know. I should use a magnetic plate. I know, I know. A bowl, whatever. I know, but you guys know I can't. I just, I'm too disorganized. See that little tail? We cut that out. We're going to stamp the, the sentiment on it. Here's Mama and her little her little um, pouch is cut. And we'll put this over here so we don't lose it. Man, I better find that die because that's an important one. Hmm. It's where? Do you see it? It's on the magnet. Which one? No, that one's different. That's, look, that one goes there. That one goes there. <laughs> Nina, you're making me second guess it. That one goes there. These are the gifts. Yeah, it's not on here. Right? Get your magnet thing out. I know, Carla, I know. Getting that magnet stick. My recycle bin's empty. I mean, it has like five pieces of paper in it. It's here somewhere, I bet you. It's probably on the floor, but you would hear. Whatever, okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. I gotta cut the baby out. Okay, everyone pretend that I'm cutting it out with a die. You know, you just gotta go with it. You just gotta roll with the punches. You never know what's gonna happen on Facebook Live. All right, we're just gonna cut it out at the bottom. Oh, goodness. And you know what happens when, when this happens? I find that die pretty quickly after Facebook Live. It's just God's way of teaching us to be humble, right? And to be <laughs> patient and to laugh at ourselves. That's what it is. And you know, I'm a pretty, like I'm a perfectionist pretty much, but I'm a messy perfectionist. Does that make sense? Is that, I don't know, does that, is that weird? I've been thinking a lot about that. I've been reading about the Enneagrams. If you guys have read about the Enneagrams, um, and I'm trying to figure out my number and it's hard because I don't know. All right, we're gonna stamp that little just for you in misty moonlight right there. You need to stamp it at the bottom and I'm gonna show you why. When you take the baby, <laughs> Carla, good. I'm here to entertain. You, you. Maybe I planned, I just heard it, I heard it. Wait a minute, I heard something hit. <gasps> Where, look. Da, 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 da. Okay, it was on the tray somewhere. You know what? I think maybe it was stuck to this because I moved that around and I heard clink. All right, well, good. We didn't lose it. Gosh, it's your, your Friday follies. That's what we should call it. All right, so see, you want to stamp that down at the bottom because you're going to glue him to the tops. The first time I did, I stamped at the top and realized, oh, that doesn't work. All right, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> and look, he goes in. He's so cute. He can go in his mama's pouch. All right, there. Now, oh my God, it's taking us like five hours to make this card. Oh, let's do the buffalo background. Look, you know, I've told you, this, this stamp lives permanently on this plate. This is, its, it has its own plate. I don't even bother taking it off because I use it so much. And oh gosh, I feel like it's going to retire. You guys think it's gonna retire? It's been out for a while. Uh, I'm scared. Okay, um, blushing bride cardstock. Uh, blushing bride. I know you guys. I need to use the magnetic bowl, but I have a magnetic sheet right in front of me. I mean, wouldn't that be the same thing? I still lose them. <laughs> I'm just making you guys feel better about yourself. You know it, you know. Blushing Bride ink on Blushing Bride cardstock. 
because you're going to see me make a fool of myself because I lose things. You're going to think, wow, she's a million dollar sales achiever. Look at her. She loses stuff. She can't find stuff. She makes mistakes. See, we're all just human. All right. So I'm doing it twice. I'm using my Stamparatus to make sure that's nice and solid. And then we will move this. Actually, we're going to take this off because we're going to use it again on the next project. And we're going to cut this down to four and five and a fourth. All right. I'm using my handy dandy paper trimmer. And there we go. All right. I like these colors too. Pink, like navy and pink or navy and coral is one of my favorite color combinations. I've told you guys that before. I love it. So last, the last card we used flirty, flirty flamingo. This time we're using blushing bride. Ooh, hey, what time is it? Oh, okay, at three o'clock. Ooh, at three o'clock central, which is in eight minutes, Stampin' Up! is releasing a sneak peek of the new in colors for demonstrators. Yep. Some of you are going to leave my Facebook Live to go see those, some of you demonstrators. I am hoping there's a beautiful pink, right? We need like a something in between this and Flirty Flamingo. Remember, what was the old pink pirouette? We need that color. All right, this is the well-suited designer series paper and the measurements on the PDF, I can't remember it off the top of my head. I rounded these two corners with a corner trio punch. And here's another mistake I made. Look at these cute hearts, right? This is from another stamp set that was in the fall catalog that I thought carried over. And when I went to type the supply list last night, I realized it did not. <laughs> Why do I do that? And it wasn't even a stamp set that I had used at all. I don't know why I had it front and center in my cabinet. So, but guess what? There's a heart stamp in the kangaroo stamp set. I don't know why I used those hearts in the first place. So we're just going to stamp the heart from Kangaroo and Company in Flirty Flamingo. And we're going to take Flirty Flamingo Dark Stamp and Blend. And we'll color these guys in. And then it looks pretty much the same. I have done that several times lately with retired product. And I usually get rid of all my retired product. I think what it is, oh, Joy, five minutes, five minute countdown. Don't come to, don't tell me. I don't want anybody to spoil the, the end color surprise. Oh wait, we gotta put that paper down. Don't spoil it. This is a piece of Seaside Spray retiring color, um, retiring in color. This is one of the retiring in colors. From the 2019, 2021 in colors. Little strip there. Then we'll put this, I love this grid paper in this pack. All right, now we've got a piece of Blushing Bride and we're gonna just punch the end and we're gonna take dimensionals right here. Um, powder, powder pink, maybe it was powder pink though. I can't remember. Powder pink, I think it was pink pirouette, the one that I liked. But I remember powder pink too, weren't they similar? All right, let's put this little flag, oh, let's put it up just a tiny bit higher so we can see that bottom heart. You know, I've actually seen the new in colors. I, I get to do these catalog surveys last summer and I have, I, can, I can't remember, I have no idea. No idea. All right, so our little mama, let's put some dimensionals on her. Be real careful with your dimensional placement. Well, that's way too many. Um, don't put it where it will obstruct your, um, you know, this little thing right here. You want it to be able to move. So we're gonna put her right there. And now I have a stitched banner. Look, everything's getting messy. Ah. Um, a stitched banner right there. And we're gonna stamp the Hello Baby in Misty Moonlight. Hello Baby is also in this stamp set. Do it towards the bottom so that we can put a little heart there. 
And I, I'm using all kinds of punches on this project. I'm gonna use this little heart from the dog punch. I feel like this is gonna retire. What do you guys think? It's been around for a while. We don't have the stamp set anymore. And now we've got several dog things. So I just, I don't know, something tells me this punch will retire. If you haven't been around Stamping Up World, the catalog retires and about, what would you guys say? Half the things in there retire and they replace them with new things in the next catalog. So it's always a fun little guessing game of what's gonna retire. Powder pink is similar to petal pink. Petal pink, oh, petal pink, yeah. Yeah, petal pink is too orangey for me. It's not pink enough. It, it's good for cheeks, you know, coloring little cheeks or skin tones, but I don't like it like as a pink pink. All right, now we're almost done. We got a few little fun things to add to this card. These guys, where is my take your pick tool? These um, resin hearts are on back order. You guys, by the way, just so you know, there's a ton of things on back order. We know, but guess what? COVID, <laughs> okay? It's just blame COVID. Um, it's just the nature of how things are right now. And believe me, Stampin' Up! hates um, back orders more than we do, right? So just be patient. I, some of my Club Create members from February are still waiting on their strawberry punches, which who knows? Who knows? But we just, right, that's what we learned in 2020. We learn how to be patient. We learn how to pivot. And 2021... I don't know, 2021 didn't start off too hot, but I feel like things are improving. At least it feels like it to me. It feels like we're turning the corner. Here in our area, especially. Our, um, I'm sure you guys heard about Texas opening 100%. Well, let me tell you, if you don't live in Texas, the news made a much bigger deal out of that than... <laughs> I mean, everything was pretty much open already. I don't really know what changed. And yes, our governor lifted a mask mandate, but I can tell you, uh, everybody's wearing their mask. There's nowhere I go that people aren't wearing their mask. So you know how the news is. They like to make it exciting. Okay, we're done. Cute, right? So cute. And look, I did her light, medium, and <laughs> very dark today, but it works. Isn't it a cute baby card? And if this was a boy baby card, you could just change those pinks. Um, you know, use um, Seaside Spray it works really well with Misty Moonlight. Um, and I think the hearts could stay pink for a baby boy, right? This was the snail mail twine too. I don't think I said that, the snail mail twine. All right, project number two is done. We've got one more, and let's see if I can do it without losing anything. Let's see. Um, I'm not, I haven't looked at your comments in a few minutes, so if you guys have said something important, I probably missed it. All right, project number three is a sour cream container. Oldie but goodie, right? Um, when I was in college, I remember the grocery store still sold sour cream containers like this. I mean, it's been a long time. Do your stores sell sour cream in containers like this? The only time I see them now is in, I get HelloFresh kits and the sour cream comes in container like this. So I know they're still doing it, but I remember buying them. I feel like I bought them back then, but now they just come in a carton, right? But anyway, that's what this is called, a sour cream container. And this is a great way to use up paper. If you've got a lot of DSP, like I do, um, this is a great way. We're just going to use a six by six square to make this. But let's make that tag first. We're using, we're going to use another uh, background stamp here in a second. But let's do our stamping first. Elaine, you have HelloFresh too. I love HelloFresh too. But you know what? They have, and again, I will, I, I, I don't want to talk bad because I love them. But the last few weeks, I've had a lot of problems. Two didn't show up. 
one was very late. One was missing half the stuff. I mean, it was like crazy. Yesterday's meal was missing several ingredients. I don't know. Very unusual. And for me, you know, I've already done my weekly grocery shopping by the time that box comes. So if it doesn't come or it's missing meals, then I have to go back to the store. Nobody wants to do that. Right? Um, let's see. I'm going to stamp that on the heart. Yeah, I don't know what's up with them. Maybe it's just a fluke. But they are so, their customer service is excellent. They will fix it. They will credit you. The only thing I don't like is when that box, if, you're, if your HelloFresh box gets lost or is late, then they don't send you another one. They just refund you. And I'm like, send me the meals. I'd rather have them late than not at all. It just makes things so much easier. And I and I am a cook. I cook all the time. I, you know, we have dinner. We have family night dinner every night. Um, it just, it takes the thinking out of it for you, which is so nice. That way I don't have to sit and plan. And my kids love, I would say, my big kid, my two big kids, they love all the meals. My little one, she's still picky. She just wants to eat meat. Nothing else. <laughs> meat. She's my carnivore. All right, a little bit of shadow here. Don't do too much, Erica. This is, these colors are dark. Let's do the nose. Hi, Donna. All right, now I have got several blues here. Look at this. We've got dark, misty moonlight. And I used this this morning. It's too dark. We're not going to use that. I've got... Well, that's Night of Navy. I've got dark seaside spray and light seaside spray. Who knows where my other misty moonlight is? So let's see. We'll use light. I don't know. Light Navy may be too dark too. No, that's good. They're all similar. But that dark misty moonlight, is that Navy? It is. That's why it was so dark. I grabbed the wrong ones. I used that this morning and I was like, whoa, I can't see the present. Not, the Night of Navy dark is just too dark. That's why. All right, so that's okay. We'll use this. It'll work. I'm going to do um, some of the, we'll do the bow and seaside spray. And we'll do this whole present and seaside spray. All right. I love using my Stampin' Blends. I do. I'm a color for sure. I don't know how that happened. My mom would be so proud. Are you still in here, mom? When I was a little girl, I didn't want to have anything to do with art or coloring or anything. And my mom is a professional artist. So you can imagine. She was trying to get my brother and I to do art. And we were like, no, thank you. I was like my youngest. I was a tomboy kind of. Well, yeah, pretty much. That changed quickly though. All right, let's see. Hold your breath. Put it down. Don't move. Ah, 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 I don't like that. Oh, there's my mom. She's so proud. She has given me some coloring lessons. She probably cringes every time I color. <laughs> All right, but that's the thing about Stampin' Blends. They make everybody look like they know what they're doing. They're so good. Even my mom likes the stamp and blends. Oh, they slipped. All right, I'm gonna doctor these. Don't look. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of this white. I should have used a post-it note. No, I shouldn't have used a post-it note. I should have just checked them. All right, so we've got the little kangaroo. We've got the presents. Oh my gosh, I'm doing a terrible job. Okay, and then we're gonna layer these guys onto a basic white heart, also from the stitched heart dies. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment. This is a birthday themed treat. And we're gonna stamp it, it's your day, right there on the upper right side of the heart. Now let's move those out of the way. Bring over our stamparatus. I have cut out a um, sew saffron stitched circle. It is not the largest, it's the second largest. 
and we are going to just ink this all all wired up yeah all wired up background stamp it's the chicken wire background stamp just to give us a little more texture okay so saffron ink on so saffron cardstock and we're going to use not one but two scallop circles i was feeling a little crazy cut two when i'm cutting all your kits next week i'll be like why did i use two <laughs> why didn't i use one I like the layers. And by the way, if you get the Facebook Friday kits next week, I hope I have enough of this paper, but you might be getting some other paper because we're getting down to, you know, the end of the catalog and I don't know, but I think I've got enough. I um, ordered too much of this at the beginning of the catalog, so I feel like I'll have enough. Okay, where's our heart? And more dimensionals, no postage needed here. I love the Stamparatus too, Debbie. It is one of my favorite tools ever. All right, little little baby Joey right there. And we'll put our little gifts over here on the right side. Dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. And my silly hat, that looks terrible because I tried to trim it up and I didn't do a good job. I should re-stamp it and recut it, but Friday Follies, we'll just go with it. A little birthday hat on him. There we go, there's our tag. Okay, now to make our sour cream container, um, we're gonna roll it like a tube, toilet paper tube is what I always say, and then put adhesive here and pinch it. So I'm gonna use tear and tape, and this is a square so it doesn't matter which side you start with. I know, I think originally when I made this the very first time it wasn't a square, it was like five by four but it doesn't matter, you can use any size. Okay, so take the tear and tape off. All right, who's, who's looked at the new in colors? Are they posted over on the demo site? Don't tell me, just let me know if you've seen them. All right, roll it like a tube. And now find that adhesive and pinch it closed. Now we used to have a crimper, but we don't anymore. And I like to crimp the bottom, but you can easily do that by just scoring some lines here. Make sure I've got the right one. I always feel like I'm gonna mess up. And just score some, some lines here at the bottom, and that's gonna make it look like you used a crimper. If you have a crimper, use your crimper, but I don't have one anymore. Can you guys see those lines? Okay, now what are we gonna put in it? Well, how about some of these delicious cookies and cream Oreo eggs? Do not buy them if you're trying to eat healthy because they are delicious. And if you wanna know, no, you don't wanna know, it's bad. Okay, pinch it. Now you could pinch it like this and then you just have a pouch, which is cute too. But to make it a sour cream container, you need to pinch it to the opposite side. Okay, you guys see that? And then I'm gonna take my hole punch. Oh, Laurie, they're only posting one a day. Oh, that's disappointing. Darn. I guess they're gonna keep us in suspense. One a day. There's some good guesses. Yes, I've seen the guesses too. <laughs> I know, I know what people want to see. I don't know if they're gonna get what they want. I love having new colors. It just makes everything look new and fresh. Um, when you're like me and you stamp every single day with Stampin' Up! colors, to bring new colors in really feels very, you know, very different, like you have new furniture in your house or something. All right, I'm gonna tie this with, I cut way too much ribbon. Um, Bumblebee gingham ribbon. Okay. I guess we can share. I'll let you guys know. You still have to guess the color, Kayleen? What? 
Do you think the April pumpkin is a sneak peek? Debbie, I don't know. What was the April paper pumpkin? I can't remember. I can't, oh, the popsicles. No, I don't think so. I don't, I think that coordinates with the sweet ice cream sweet, doesn't it? Although, hmm, I don't know. I don't, I haven't heard. All right, so a couple of dimensionals is all I'm going to do, and I'm going to stick it on, and then boom, done. We've got easy party favors or birthday treats. What I think you should do, where's my third one? What I think you should do is make these, keep them in your office or your classroom or wherever you work, and then you'll have them, oh, it's your birthday today? Look, I brought you something. <laughs> I was thinking of you. Even if you didn't know, you just have them ready to go because they're easy and you can just use up whatever paper you have extra, right? All right, we are done and we only lost one die in the process, but we found it. Let's look at what we made. Three baby cards. Well, no, we made one baby card. We made a happy birthday card. We made a treat pouch, sour cream treat. Um, and then Monday I'll have a bonus project for you. Okay, it's right here. So, so cute. I am obsessed with rainbows right now. Um, make sure you hop over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. The PDF is there under the third photo. It's a big pink button. You won't miss it. Um, it has all the measurements and the product list, as well as the th three things I think you need to know about. Host code is right here. All orders between Monday at midnight, between now and Monday at midnight, using this host code, we'll get the three make and takes sent to you next week for free. If your order is over $150, you guys don't use the host code because then you get stamp and rewards and I'll still send you the make and takes. All right, we made it, we're here. Yay, you guys have a great weekend. And next week we are doing the hot dog stamp set. Somebody emailed me and with a special request and I was happy to oblige. So. Hot dog, free hot dog projects, the little weenie dog stamp set. So cute. So we'll be doing that next week. Okay, guys? All right. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.